Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're gonna create this 3D image slideshow in Adobe After Effects. Alright, here in the project panel, I have the assets which contains all the images and videos that I'll be using and in the icons, I have some icons download it from the internet and I'm here with a new composition five second long composition I rename that into slide one which is 60 frames per second hit OK so first things first let's organize the project panel create a new folder and rename these slides I'm gonna drag in these slides inside that folder. Let's go and collapse these assets and select all these images and drag and drop it inside this new composition icon. And you have this dialog box, select this multiple composition and I'm gonna stretch it to five seconds because our composition was at five seconds. If your composition is at 10 seconds long, you have to set this according to the length of your composition. So in this case, I'm gonna set this to five seconds hit OK and that's, that creates a pre-comps for that images and I'm gonna create another folder for those and I'm gonna rename this image place holders all right and I'm gonna select all these pre-comps and I'm gonna drag it inside the image placeholder folder let's go to the slide one composition and drag and drop the first image in, in fact you can just you can just rename these two image one image two and so on so i'll leave that for now and i'm just going to drag and drop the image one inside that and let's scale it down right click layer styles and i'm going to add an inner glow go inside this inner glow and select this color and change this to white color and i'm going to set this blending mode to normal and opacity to 100 and let me go down choke to 100 percent and i'm going to increase the size to maybe around 15. Right? you can just maybe 10 10 is quite good all right so i have this image one and let's turn this at 3d layers so hit f4 to bring up this option make this a 3d layer and what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this Control d and drag and drop the second image by holding down alt on the keyboard and dragging it on top of that image right i'm going to duplicate another copy and i'm going to do the same hold down alt and drag and drop i'll do a few copies Control alt sorry alt and drag in and i'm going to do another one hold down alt drag and drop and i'm going to do again the whole idea of this is to place these 3D layers randomly in 3D space and move the camera around. So it's simple as that. So let's create a camera for this layer new and camera. I'm going to use 35 mm. Hit OK. Once you hit a, once you create a camera, create a null object to control the camera. So we need this at 3D layer as well. Select this camera, parent it to the null object. All right, so let's leave the camera for now and let's work on this single layer. So I'm gonna select, scale it down a little bit. Before proceeding, let's go and create a new solid, which is BG. Hit OK for the background. Put it below everything. Go to the effects and presets and type in gradient so i'm gonna drag and drop this four color gradient on top of that and i'm gonna choose something like bright you know color all right i've choose my color and let's let's turn on the second image which is this and move it around in 3d space and hit p on the keyboard to move this even more easier and we're gonna add just the position of the z axis and scale it down at the same time as needed all right so move it up somewhere here and let's turn on the next image which is this p 
key on the keyboard and move it backwards and place it somewhere here maybe towards the camera so this is the Z values and we can always come and refine it back later on let's uh, let's let's do a rough position here so turn on the next layer and you might want to move this layer below just above the background so that everything is everything is just above that image so maybe around here and the next image which is this and i'm gonna move this backwards even more back somewhere here and maybe scale this image up a little bit and I'm gonna turn on the last image which is this all right let's move this image just below this image so let's move it down somewhere here all right once you have the photos in place you just need to select this null object, hit P on the keyboard, set a keyframe. At the beginning of this timeline, move the time indicator at the end of the timeline. And you can just, and you can just dolly in. You can just dolly in like this. Or you can just create a reverse of this, like I've shown you in the original example. So this is it. So let's reposition this image, right? So it's way too far from the camera. So, all right, once you have this position keyframes for the null object, let's move ahead and create a text. I'm gonna create a text. Memories, you know, just uh, scale it up and just make this a 3D layer and you can you know reposition it anywhere in the in the frame and what I did was create a drag and drop this icon inside this and make this a 3D layer as well and scale it down something like this it's looking pretty good and maybe we can just mess with the position the Z position here so we're here down something like that all right once you have that let's go and select this camera collapse this go to camera options and make sure to turn on this depth of fill that will make the photos more realistic i'm going to increase this blur to 200 and aperture to around 30. if you want more depth of fill shallow depth of fill you can just increase this number to 50 you know depending on what you want right so it's simple as that all right once you create that i'm gonna go inside the slides and i'm gonna duplicate this slide one Control d to duplicate it and it becomes slide two double click on this slide two to get inside this and we're gonna re replace these images with the other image placeholders all right so what i'm gonna do is select this image Hold down Alt and drag and drop and I'm going to do for all the image. So you still have the same animation. So I don't want I don't want the same animation and we might need to refine the images again here. So scale this down like this and make it big. Something like this, maybe, you know, just randomize it a little bit. something like this all right so let's select this null hit u to bring up the keyframes and i'm gonna delete these keyframes by clicking on this position start watch that deletes everything and we're gonna start animating it from the left here set a keyframe for the position go to the last keyframe and you know slide it over to the right something like this and i'm going to change the position of this memories 
and you know move it to the right side and maybe even replace this icon with the other one which is this hold down alt drag and drop it to replace that and let's rename this wedding right this is what we have and we have to combine both of these together in one single composition so let's create a new composition and rename this final comp all right so it's gonna be 10 seconds now hit ok and let's go inside the slides select both of these comps drag and drop inside this new composition and offset this like this we're gonna add an overlay here so drag and drop this overlay on top of that and make this a screen and you have some very cool light leaks trim this off and I'm gonna drop another one which I'm going to use this as a transition so let me find the brightest part which is this I'm gonna select this hit star on the keyboard to add this as a marker and I'm gonna move this right here and set this to screen and maybe maybe even reposition this somewhere here and hit T to bring up the opacity so the keyframe for the opacity and go back few frames and set this to zero and go few frames ahead and lower the opacity to 30 so that's how you create this by the way you can download this free template from my store the link will be there in the description down below and if you want to learn more after effects watch this video thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video take care